Hey cookies, we got an awesome topping guide for you today, all about our ancient friend here, Pure Vanilla Cookie. And a big shout out to Chicken for letting me know that I haven't done this one yet and that you appreciate these. So thank you for that support as always to the community. Absolutely love it and appreciate that as always. So today we will break down Pure Vanilla Cookie. We'll go into the topping guide for you. Additionally, we'll go take Pure Vanilla Cookie out for a scroll, a stroll with the other cookie team members. And last but not least, do a little bit of a retrospective and pull in today's episode and talk about what happened. So appreciate you tuning in. As always, questions or comments throughout, please let me know. I love to hear from you. Feel free to swing by the Discord server. On top of that, those timestamps I mentioned are available to you down below, my cookie friends. All right, so here's what we got going on. Pure vanilla cookie, an absolute powerhouse of a healer here. So we got a healing cookie in the back, uh, in terms of the rear here, ability to balance our team out, survivability, those kinds of things, very, very powerful. Now, the big thing about Pure Vanilla Cookie being a healer um, is the ability to keep the rest of your team alive. So here we have Love and Peace, 19 seconds of a cooldown. It's a pretty long one, um, but what it does is illuminates the battlefield with his Vanilla Orchid a staff, replenishing the party's HP. So not just one single target heal, party's HP, and covering them with shields, absorbing an amount of damage proportional to their max HP. Again, their max HP, so that's gonna be critical for you. So here, healing has 189% of attack and shield absorbs 20% of max HP for three seconds. So that's a big one to have you essentially get a boost that additional ability on your team. Um, it makes a huge, huge difference. So you got both the healing and the shield absorb as that additional protection there. So that's a big, big difference there and why Pure Vanilla is one of the best healers in the game. Um, and also it's certainly sought after cookie. And if you've seen my other episodes or guides um, on how long it took me to get this uh, particular cookie, it took a while. So stay at it, my friends, and congrats to Chicken on pulling this one here um, recently and asking about it because I thought I ran this one. All right, so here we go. Let's move into the topping guide because this is important for us and why you're obviously here. Um, we want to be on five swift chocolates. Yes, and that reasoning, re reasoning and rationale is when we saw that uh the move the power move there um you have 19 seconds you want to drop that cooldown like crazy you want to keep healing your cookies you want to get that shield on them um on top of that and that's gonna make a huge difference there um for your team for your survivability and as you progress um throughout um the cookie run kingdom so here's what we got going on as we do a drill in so the five of these are going to give you that nice chocolate set effect of five percent in terms of cooldown um when we talk about the bonus effect so a unique piece here is that heal is tied to attack so you actually want to make sure that you have attack as that kind of tier one um, bonus effect that you're getting in there for this particular cookie for pure vanilla. Additionally, what's good is that HP, and um, that HP again is in, gonna increase the, the self shield, additionally the survivability. Now, on top of that, you absolutely wanna continue first and foremost to have that cooldown um, continue to drop, and then that damage resist for that survivability is always nice. Everything else then that I add in is kind of the defense, um, attack speed, crit resist, debuff resist, um, amplify buff, and those kinds of things in terms of tier two and tier three. So when we look at how I have pure vanilla cookies set up here, we got crit percent, defense, and attack. So the best one out of this one's really attack. Defense is kind of mediocre. Um, in terms of that survivability, again, we got more attack, which is great. Attack speed, not really good. Damage resist, again, blend between attack and survivability. Here we have HP, amplified buff, attack speed. Not much good stuff. HP is pretty okay in terms of some of those things we talked about. Crit resist, crit percent, damage resist. Again, not great. And last but not least here, HP, debuff resist, crit resist. All in maybe like a five and six out of a 10. We do have a lot of nice attack. We didn't get any cooldown additionally, which hurts. Um, so our cooldown's only at 15%, um, which is a little light um, in terms of what we would particularly like on pure vanilla cookie. Nonetheless, how you wanna think about um, your toppings and this topping guide for pure vanilla. So that is the all in, in terms of what we wanna focus on. Let's go ahead now and take the team out for a stroll, as we always like to say here, um, and ensure we have some fun as always. So 829 is the, the 
story episode we'd like to be on. We're going to be ready here. Let's go ahead and grab the team of choice. We got pure vanilla cookie here. Let's go ahead with this. I will take this um, in terms of what we got going on for the team out for a stroll. So we will go here with pure vanilla. We got our things on really slow mode and no auto. Um, I'll show you how this works. So let's watch. Here we go. Here's the heels and the shields. Um, so that is exactly what we get to see here um, in terms of that cooldown. Now, again, I think it was 18 seconds we said um, if we look at it. So let's go ahead and see what the cooldown is when we add that 15% addition. So let's go ahead here. Boom, 11 seconds. So we make a pretty big dent um, in terms of those cooldowns. So obviously, I got other buffs and things um, for my team and what's happening here, making that cooldown even better um, because I got other things like Jelly Watch with 25% plus the other percent 15. That gives us a 40% on an 18. So for at 20 seconds, 40% um, off 20 is going to be about 8 seconds, I think, if I'm quick math there. 12, and we're at 11. Is the math good? It's good. So again, showing how that works, how it's going to operate for your team in terms of survivability. Pure Vanilla is great um, in terms of a lot of the late game stuffs. Um, here, a lot of interchange between Cotton and Pure Vanilla, um, for example. So, Cookies. That is pure vanilla. We took pure vanilla out with the team. We showed how the move set works. Um, additionally, there we talked about the lovely, lovely toppings that you want to be on. Those swift chocolates to reduce the cooldown. Um, pure vanilla has a ton, a ton, a ton of health there. Um, so that's big to know. And then again, that second one attack is helpful, like we talked about. So. Um, we gave the overview as well about Pure Vanilla, um, a great support cookie, great in any team, um, very, very helpful in terms of survivability and how you want to kind of build things out. So um, cookies all in. That is today's guide. Appreciate your support as always. Thank you for tuning in. If you got a question, if you got a comment, please let me know. Let me know, chicken, what you think. Um, always appreciate your comments and uh, got this one out here for you, cookies. So until next time, cookies, we'll see you again soon. Great ways to stay connected here on the channel and love to hear your feedback you stay safe you take care enjoy pure vanilla